Hi, in video number two of our Kipware TP series, we'd like to go through the editor that's uh, available inside of Kipware TP. Uh, it's a full functional editor, uh, so Kipware TP can be used to create a program from scratch and then plot it to the screen, or you can plot an existing program. Uh, one of those two things can be done, and any changes to those programs can be done uh, through the plot box or through the editor. Uh, so if I go and I grab a program that's in here, Let's use this program here. You can see that when the program gets loaded, it goes into the plot box. Uh, the plot box is a direct uh, correlation to what happens out on the screen, whereas the editor can be used uh, in conjunction to make changes uh, without necessarily coming back into the plot box. But once the file is opened, I can select editor, or I can open the file directly within the editor uh, using the uh, open and save buttons, or we can print the file uh, with the utility buttons at the bottom of the screen. So you can see that I have my program up in the editor, and a couple of things that we can do, uh, we can have sequence number, uh, we can resequence the program, so if I hit the button, uh, this is set up for increments of five, and we've just uh, put sequence numbers into the program, or I can remove sequence numbers. I can add or remove spaces. You can see there's a space here, for instance, between this G91 and G28. I can add more spaces if I want some more legibility to the program, or I can remove spaces. Uh, perhaps the control uh, that you're going into won't allow spaces between the letter addresses, so we can do that. We have a color palette that the user can define. Uh, so if I define here, for instance, X is going to be red, Y is going to be blue, Z is going to be green, and so on, I can create this through the palette. You can see that I can do things, uh, whole words, for instance, like G00 is going to be brown. When I hit the paint button, the software will go through and highlight uh, those letter addresses in the program per the palette. So if you're looking for something particular in your programs, uh, you can color highlight that makes it a little bit easier uh, to find. Uh, you can clear the colors with this button here. We can also do some axis reversals. So I can take all my X's and make them from plus to minus or minus to plus. Uh, this is for a lathe with double turrets. And Z plus or minus if you're using uh, maybe a lathe with a sub spindle and you need to program Z minus instead of Z plus. Uh, we can do those automatic axis reversals uh, using these two option buttons here. In conjunction with that, we can reverse the GO2 and GO3 commands. Uh, so if you're uh, moving uh, the X and Z uh, axis around plus or minus, uh, you might have to do the GO2 and GO3 lines, which you can do uh, directly with this option. You can see that we've got a couple of other uh, options for inch and metric. Uh, so I can go from an inch program with this one is, to a metric program uh, with just the click of a button, or I can go from uh, metric back to inch with the click of this button. Now the software takes into account that uh, it won't do conversion of uh, letter addresses like an O or P or N, uh, but you can come back into the settings for the inch metric conversions and you can tell it that uh, I do want to convert those uh, the data after those letter addresses from inch to metric. So we've got some options here that you can uh, change the defaults uh, for the inch to metric conversion. Uh, but a very powerful feature, uh, you can basically just go in, open up a file that may be written in metric, uh, bring it into the editor, hit the inch button, it'll convert it all to inches, you can save it, and now you've got an inch program. One of the real powerful features is our XC override feature. And basically what this allows you to do is to take things like, uh, let's say I wanted to take all my S commands and I wanted to add 10%. I can select this value as a percentage and I can ignore anything that's inside the parentheses and then I can enable and disable the settings. So I may have things set up in here that I don't want to do all the time and I can enable or uh, disable uh, those letter addresses through the box here. But basically what this would do is take all my letter addresses of S, I take the data af after it and make it 10% uh, in this case higher than what it is in the program. So you can do mass uh, changes to the program uh, by doing this uh, override settings. Uh, we can use some trigger codes so we can do complete line conversions uh, just by giving it a trigger code in here. So for instance if I wanted to do uh, just the GO2 lines uh, I could put the GO2 as a trigger code and then uh, select this as a uh, complete line override conversions and it will only do the changes to these uh, versus the trigger code. So it wouldn't do all of the X and Y uh, in 
the program and would only do the ones that were in my trigger code line. But this is a pretty powerful feature in, in the override settings uh, in Kipware TP. So let's look at the editor and uh, any changes that you make to the program here. Uh, you can also uh, load it back to the plot box and then what happens is any changes that you've made here uh, have been saved to the plot box. So you haven't changed the original file yet, uh, but whatever gets plotted to the screen uh, would be changed versus what you did inside the editor. Now let's look at the editor inside of Kipware TP, our G-Code editing and toolpath plotting software.